Check out this official GMAT word problem talking about four machines that can produce X units in six days, but we want to produce three X units in four days. Now there's a kind of textbook math, mindless, memorizable procedure that people acquire to try to get through questions like this. But that causes a lot of anxiety on the test. It takes longer than it should. We forget how to do it under pressure. And folks tend to make mindless mistakes when they use a mindless procedure. So I'm here to offer you today a reasoning-based approach. And the difference between the procedural approach and the reasoning-based approach is kind of like the difference between going upstairs and going downstairs. So I'll ask you to try to just kind of relax and go to your happy place in your mind and think about what they're asking here. You have four machines and those can produce X units, but you want to produce three X units. So just focusing on that first, if you want to produce triple the units, you'll need triple the machines all else remaining equal, triple the production will require triple the number of machines. So if I want to be twice as big, I'll have to eat twice as fast. No, I'll have to eat twice as much, fast, much, fast, much, and whatever. Now separately, we actually want to get this done in four days instead of six days. And here's what I'm thinking. If I wanted to get work done in half the time, I'd need to double the number of machines. If I wanted to get the work done in one fifth of the time, I'd need five times as many machines. Well, in this case, we want to get it done in four days instead of six days. So four over six, that's two thirds. We want to get this done in two thirds of the time. Therefore, we'll need three halves as many machines. Now, three halves, that's not something that people say in everyday language. When's the last time you heard someone say three halves? Well, we should start. It's a really good idea to start practicing saying things like three halves as many, five fourths as many, and so on. So on the one hand, we need to triple the number of machines. So three times four, 12. Uh, on the other hand, we need to multiply the number of machines by three halves, again, because we want to get the job done in two thirds of the time. So really all the work we have to do for this question is uh, three halves times three times four equals 18. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content like this.